Okay, so this is the second part to the Marma Points presentation. This is a practical application of the Marma Points. And we're going to do Nadi Shodana Pranayama together. This is also known as alternate nostril breathing. And I'm going to explain to you why a lot of people do this incorrectly or um, basically don't get enough benefit or don't get the uh, correct benefits because they are not using the marma points when they do this. So I'll just take you back to this idea of the nadi. So you have the shushumna nadi in the middle. Uh, you have your ida, uh, the shakti channel, which is the left brain, sorry, the right brain and the left nostril because as you saw before they cross over and do this helix as the, the nadis move. On the other side, on the right nostril, you have your left brain, which is your Shiva or your masculine energy. So generally, when you wake up in the morning, you want to activate your Pingala energy, your Shiva, your masculine energy, so that you heat up for the day. And as you go to sleep at night, you want to have your Ida or your Shakti, your feminine energy flow through your left nostril being the dominant nostril that you're using to cool yourself down. Okay, so simply put, uh, Nadi Shodana, you breathe in through the right, you breathe out through the left, you breathe in through the left, you breathe out through the right, and you use your hands. Now, of course, we're going to talk about the hands because what is the best hand position? Well, there are a few ways to place your fingers. Um, when we do this Nadi Shodana Pranayama, it's an essential breathing practice. We're closing one nostril and then breathing through the other one and then closing that one and breathing through the first. Does it matter which hand you use? Nah, maybe. A lot of people prefer using the right hand and in India that basically comes from the fact that in India we use our right hand for clean things and we use our left hand for cleaning our butts. So right hand is more appropriate to use on your nose than the left hand in India. But um, for us in the West, uh, or you know, if you don't you specifically use one hand to do dirty things, you can use either hand. There is no esoteric kind of concerns about that. So use whichever hand you prefer. Now there are two different mudras that you can use when you're doing uh, Nadi Shodana. So the first one on the left side of the screen is the Nasagra Mudra. Nasagra means tip of the nose and Mudra means gesture. Uh, the one on the right is the Vishnu Mudra. This is known as the universal balance or the seal of universal balance. Um, and Vishnu is the god who is the protector of the world. So depending on which one you prefer or which one you like, I will also say that um, each activate different um, chakras. So the Nasagra Mudra, as you can see, you put your middle finger and your index finger on your third eye. So you're really um, activating the energy of your third eye. In the Vishnu Mudra, we're working with three chakras. We're working with the root chakra, from the, let me see, I clicked too many times. So the root chakra from your ring finger. So there's your root chakra. The water chakra from your little finger is active. So there you go. And then the fire chakra from your thumb is active. So you're more kind of grounding. So depending on which one of the two you want to work with. Now, the big difference is we're not going to do what this woman is doing here and press on the nostril. What we're going to do is we're actually going to press on the marma point. So I'll show you that now. Okay, so here we are. So if you see now where I've put the arrow, so you actually don't want to press on your nostril. You want to press on the point just at the end of your, the wing of your nostril. You see that there, so you can try with your finger. It's right on the face where your nostril meets your cheek. So you can see that on both images. So that's where you want to press for your Nadi Shodhana breath. 
So as you find yourself in an upright seated position, you can sit on a chair or on the floor um, or on your yoga mat, of course. You can keep your left hand on your left knee and then look at your right hand and form either the Nasagra Mudra or the Vishnu Mudra with your right hand. And remember now, we are not pressing on the nostril, we're pressing on the marma point just at the back of the nostril where the nostril meets the cheek. From here, see if you close your left nostril with your pinky finger or your little finger. Inhale on the right. And then close your right with your thumb. Open the left side and exhale on the left. Inhale on the left. Close the left. Exhale on the right. Inhale on the right and exhale on the left. Inhale on the left and exhale on the right. Inhale on the right and exhale on the left. Inhale on the left and exhale to the right. Keep this going for the next couple of minutes and then write me a comment below this to let me know how this Nadi Shodana Pranayama makes you feel. The goal is, of course, to become more balanced in the energy flow between our masculine and our feminine energies. See if you notice any effect to that effect. <laughs>